Like and subscribe right now for amazing luck for the next week. Make sure to watch today's full video to see an optical illusion where you only can watch this video if you are smart. And not just that, but comment down below your answers to the optical illusions down with the comment section as we go along. Right now on our screen, we got 208208 everywhere. But 1208 is actually an imposter. Are you able to spot the imposter 208? If so, comment down below 208. Okay, you guys, so the imposter 208 is actually this one right here. And the reason for that is because it's not 208, it's 208. That is an O rather than a zero. And therefore, we have been tricked. Which letter do you see when you take a look at this image here? Take the dots. Some of the blue dots are actually different than the rest. Figure out which one those are and then see what letter you're able to witness. Comment down below the letter that you can see. All right, you guys, so the hidden letter inside of here was actually the letter L. L, 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 L. Did you guys see the letter L? If so, comment down below L. I got a cool riddle for you guys now. I cannot talk, but while I reply when spoken to, what am I? I cannot talk, but I will reply when spoken to, what am I? It's an echo. Echo, echo, echo. Get it? Because it cannot talk, but it does reply when spoken to, and you go, echo, echo, echo. It's talking, but it's not spoken to. Try to spot the mistakes inside of this image. There is actually two mistakes inside of here, and they're pretty two big mistakes. Are you able to spot them? If so, comment down below how many mistakes you can find. All right, you guys, so the first mistake is that there is literally no space bar on the laptop. And the second mistake is 31 June? That doesn't exist. What? 31 of June, there's only 30 days in June. And not just that, but there is a space bar on every single laptop. Find the word. What word is inside of here? This word is clearly torn up and stuff, but we're trying to figure out what word it is. Figure out what the word is and comment down below words you're able to see. All right, you guys, with all those tears, we actually were using the word tear. Were you able to spot the word tear? If so, comment down below, tear. Cake or fake? Comment down below. Is this cake or is it a real shoe? Let me know in the comments below. I'll then go and reveal the answer right now. Is it cake or real? Comment below. It's cake, dude. That was a good looking Converse. I'm not gonna lie. That thing looked like I would probably run through and put my shoe in it or my foot in it. Find the mistake inside of this image. Right now, find the mistake. Comment down below mistake if you can spot it. I'll then go and reveal the answer to where the mistake is. All right, you guys, so the mistake inside this image was actually right here. This boy right here is not wearing a shoe. His foot would be frozen, and he got a smile on his face. Therefore, he is not cold, a.k.a. meaning that's a mistake. And which of the buckets will the coin touch the bottom first, in 25 degrees Celsius or 25 degrees Fahrenheit? Comment down below, bucket A or bucket B? All right, you guys, it's going to hit the bottom first in bucket A. And the reason for that is because at 25 degrees Fahrenheit, the water is ice. That is negative 3 degrees Celsius. That bucket is not letting no coin through. But on the bucket A at 25 degrees Celsius, that's like what? 80 something degree, like around 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which means that's going to hit the bottom first because it ain't solid ice. Did you comment bucket A or bucket B? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, here we go. We got a corn and we have some snowflakes, snowflakes. Yeah, put these two together and try to guess what these two words or what these three emojis combined equal. So we got corn and we got snowflakes. Therefore, we got some corn flakes. 
Did you guys get cornflakes? If so, I better see some cornflakes commented down below in the comment section. Can you spot a different color? If so, comment down below square. That way I know you found a different color square. If you can find it, comment down below square. If you can't, don't lie and still comment it down below. I only want those who get it to comment down below. Because supposedly only 3% of people can actually find the square that's a different color. So if that's you, you gotta flex and comment it down below. All right, you guys, so the square that actually was a different color was this one right here, because it's a bit darker of a green. Were you able to spot this? If so, comment down below square. Take a look at this here, you guys. We got a bunch of white and black little lines. But within these white and black lines, there is actually a hidden animal. Are you able to spot the hidden animal inside of these black and white lines? If so, comment down below what animal you can find. All right, you guys, so the animal hidden inside of here was actually a cat, a little kitty cat. Did you see the cat? If so, you better have commented down below cat. That way I know you can spot the cat. All right, you guys, we're looking for all these objects on the screen right now. I'm not giving you much time, so you got to see how many you can figure out in the next 12 to 15 seconds. Right now, you guys, you have 12 to 15 seconds. Find all the animals and comment down below how many you can find. Ready, set, go. All right, you guys, here are where all the animals or where all the objects are, rather. Yeah, there is some animals as well in there. But hey, this is where all the objects were. How many objects could you find within those 12 to 15 seconds? Comment down below. We got some people in here playing some ball. The people on the left got some differences and the people on the right. Can you spot the differences? If so, comment down below what differences you can find. All right, you guys, so the difference is there's actually three differences. On the corner here, we got a little bit different of an angle. On the racket, you see the line doesn't go through. And then also on the shoe. Were you able to spot these differences? If so, comment down below three differences if you could find three of them. Yes, guys, you can only watch this video if you are smart. Meaning, I'm going to be putting you through three challenges to find out whether or not if you are smart. Challenge number one. What is eight times nine? 8 times 9 equals 72. If you got that right, well done. Now let's move to something a little bit more difficult. What is 11 times 11? If you commented down below 121, nice job. You passed challenge number 2. But this time, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult. What is 121 times 6? The answer to that is 726. If you guys got that right, whoa. That is crazy impressive. And I gotta be honest, that means you're pretty smart. Well done. Well, there you have it, you guys. If you enjoyed today's video, go down below and hit that subscribe button. And also hit the like button and tap on another video you see on the screen right now to watch more videos just like this one. And I'll see you over in that video.